What's going on, people? So, I wanted to show you what I got at Best Buy yesterday. Before I do that, I want to share something. Um, so, last night, I was watching Thor Love and Thunder on 4K. Uh, you're probably asking, well, why would you do that? Well, because I, you know, there's some action scenes I wanted to watch again. And, um... I could have looked them up on YouTube, but for some reason I just popped in the 4K disc and, you know, whatever. So, during that movie, I'm like, this, there's some points in that movie where it's, like, really dark. Like, I can't see what's going on. So, I pop in the Blu-ray. And the Blu-ray is so much brighter and more colorful. And it's almost the exact same, you know, clarity. So, and for reference, I'm using a, a 60 inch, you know, Toshiba 4K uh, OLED TV. Um, the Blu-ray is just brighter. Just, it, it was an unbelievable difference. So I'm like, so the question has to be asked, how many movies are like this? So next movie I did, I popped in Superman the movie. There's a scene where Lois is running to get in a helicopter. Pop in the 4K. I can't see much. You know, it's a, it's a the background is a bunch of city, and um, all the buildings are lit up. I pop in the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray. You can see what coat she's wearing. You can see the color of her hair. You can see all the lights on the, the... You can see the textures of the building. You can see the texture of the of the cement she's running on. And the 4K, you can't even see what's going on. So, I spent like five hours doing comparisons. And every single time, the Blu-ray looked better. And I'm like, okay... I must there's I must be doing something wrong on my TV because you know clearly 4K is supposed to be you know more colorful, you know, more clear and from from what from what my research showed me on YouTube and on Reddit, Discord um everybody says the exact same thing that the 4K 90% of the time is almost a darker print. It's clearer, it's sharper, but it's a darker print. So I'm like, okay. I fiddle with my TV. I, I put in the settings that this guy on YouTube told me to do. So the next movie I did was I popped in the Batman. Because the Batman is a notoriously, you know, kind of darker movie. Uh, there's a lot of scenes um, that are dark in, in the Batman. So I get to this scene where that guy had crashed his car at that funeral thing. Um, there's the shot of Pattinson where he's fixing to save this guy. And it's just the background with him and it's a close-up on his mask. On the 4K... You can't see the lines on the mask, and you can't see his, you know, kind of beard stubble. I pop in the Blu-ray, and it's like a night and day difference. I'm like, what is going on? Why is the Blu-ray looking better? I pop in Indiana Jones. The, the 4K is so dark. The Blu-ray is real bright and colorful. I'm like, okay, I've made a mistake here. I, I, 4K is not what it's cracked up to be. So, I have a guy who buys movies from me. I sold him every 4K I had. Because, you, cause I, I, you know, I, I have duplicate copies of a lot of these movies. Uh, on Blu-ray, you know, either a Target exclusive or a Walmart. And So I said, you know what, man? I've done, I, I've tested like 24, 25 different movies, and every single time, the 4K looks darker. So, I'm done with this, and um, 
I'm, I, I've wasted money buying 4K when I didn't do enough research. So, to all you people out there, I would encourage you to do your own comparison. I have two machines. I have a PS3 and a PS5. Um, I just went back and forth between HDMIs. I said, and it, you know, my TV switch is really quick so I can remember the picture. I would encourage you to do the same because, you know, for instance, I'm going to show you a movie I got at Best Buy. The 4K would have been $30.99 and I wound up getting the Blu-ray for, I think, $19.99. So that's 10 bucks a movie. If you do that each time all year, if you get one movie each year, you know, that's saving you $120 a year, you know, for a $10 difference. So, you know, that's something to think about. I would, I would encourage you to do your own research, of course, um, because um, probably the most drastic one was um, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. The Blu-ray looks so much brighter the colors are better i'm not saying the colors are more natural the colors might be more natural on the 4k but i want the most clear colorful saturated picture that i could get i like bright color you know, i'm like a little kid i like i like my bright colors i want i want the picture to be as bright and I can see it as best as possible. And for me, the Blu-ray is the way to go moving forward. I mean, I've te I tested 25 movies. I've te I tested like four. I've I tested uh, Avengers Endgame, Infinity War, Thor Ragnarok. I tested uh, Jurassic. I tested um, the Superman movies. I tested the Fast and Furious movies. I tested the Batman. Every one of them the Blu-ray looks a lot better, which is crazy. So I, 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 I count that to either two things. Either my TV is not as good as I thought it was, and I need to have like a three, $4,000 TV for 4K to look better, or it's my player. I'm playing it through a, a, a PlayStation 5. I don't know what type of, you know, uh, I don't know what the word would be. I don't know what type of effects that the PlayStation is doing to the picture because I did read somewhere that if you use a dedicated 4K Blu-ray player, um, the picture's better than playing it off of a game system. But I'm not going to do that because my PlayStation 5 is able to play 4K discs. Why would I buy a whole other 4K player if, if the PS5 can do it? So, you know what? I'm just going Blu-ray moving forward. It's cheaper. It's going to save me money. And I, I was not expecting the difference to be that that drastic. So, I went to Best Buy yesterday, and I'm like, you know what? I, I'm going to get these movies that are on sale on Blu-ray. And um, you know what? Let me tell you something. A couple months ago, I had almost 2,000 movies in my collection. Uh, after I sold my Steelbooks, I was down to 1,300 and then now after selling my 4Ks, uh, I'm down to under 100. My collection is depleted. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Because this time around, I can get... To, and you know what? Most of the, the Blu-rays that come out have better artwork. Either they're lenticular or, you know, they, they come in like a with a gallery book or something. So, you know what? I'm... Uh, I'm okay with it. So this is what I got at Best Buy yesterday. So um, I got the Sandlot. I got everything everywhere all at once. I got Megan. I got uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I got Shazam Fury of the Gods. I got Black Adam. I got the Batman, and I got John Wick, Chapter 4. So moving forward, I'm only going to go Blu-ray only. I thought I would tell you my experience. That's all I could tell you. Do your own research and figure out 
what the what the deal you know is peace out